Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. Today we're in one of the ship's tech pub libraries, and we're going to be uh, talking about the most common book on the ship. I'll give you a hint. The internet basically made it irrelevant. I bet modern ships do not have this as the most common book. So, what book is the most common on the ship? Is it a Blue Jackets manual? Is it some sort of uh, tech pub or instruction manual or something like that? No. It is the Random House College Dictionary. It seems like every single office on the ship would have had one of these dictionaries in it. For when you're typing up reports on your typewriter, where you don't have spell check, you can look up the words in this. And interestingly, we can tell exactly which office, which department these came from, uh, based on what's written on them. You'll notice the cover says, Property of the U.S. Government, so they must have bought these things in bulk for just this use. Navy ships, I, I assume that Army, Air Force, all these other bases would have these as well. Um, and this one says, and the bosun. And you look at the bottom here, it says bosun. So one of the deck department offices would have had this dictionary in it. It's a little bit ironic that the uh, way bosun is spelled on here is not the way that you might find it spelled in the dictionary, although it is the, the common uh, shorthand for it. We have a couple other ones here. Uh, this one, FRO2. Uh, this one, WSO02. These must have been uh, different offices. You can see that uh, the ship also had some Rogers thesauruses to go along with these dictionaries, although we have significantly fewer of these than uh, dictionaries proper. And then we've even got some of these big honkin' Webster's dictionaries around. Paul Ferrace from USS Cod and I have been in a competition to see which of us could come up with the most pedantic topic possible for a YouTube video. And uh, I think I might have him beat this time. His pencil sharpener video uh, got me last time, but I think uh, we've got him beat with all of the dictionaries on the battleship. The best part about these things is if you get boarded by the enemy, it makes a great weapon. Like I could put down a Houthi rebel with this or uh, Tommy Lee Jones if he came to take the battleship back. Piece of cake. My favorite thing about dictionaries is that they're absolutely EMP-proof. It's just another way in which the battleship is EMP-hardened. If something knocks out all of the power, you lose your computer, suddenly you can't find the spelling of words anymore. But the battleship has the analog solution to that, as always. It's interesting because um, as someone who lives in the 21st century, you know, we, we don't think about dictionaries anymore. Um, Nowadays, if spell check can't figure out what you're trying to type, you, you copy it and put it into your internet search engine, and it usually comes up with the right thing. And uh, usually it's dictionary.com that uh, has the, the right spelling of the word. You copy it out of there, put it back into your, your Word document. So, as somebody who was born right before dictionaries went out of style, it was really interesting as we were finding so many of these in our collection, like what, why did they have so many of these? Uh, insert comment about sailors and marines not being able to read or spell, but uh, yeah, no, in, in a time period when you can't just like Google a word partial spelling and get what you were looking for back, you had to look it up. Another thing like this that we have on the ship is telephone lists. There are lists of numbers in various spaces around the ship for what the phone number are of various phones on the ship. Any of you guys watching remember when you had to memorize phone numbers? They weren't just all in your cell phone? So what's something else pedantic we can use to beat COD's videos? Let us know in the comments section down below. Maybe we'll make a future video about it. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. We really appreciate your support. There's a link in the description below if you'd like to continue donating to support the ship. You can also support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find out about us in the museum.